previously on Raw Danger. Well, hello again, and welcome back to Nathan Plays Raw Danger. My name is Nathan, and this is Raw Danger for the PlayStation 2. In the previous episode, we started off, uh, what's her name? Paige? Paige's story? Does that sound right? There was an Amber. No, this is definitely Paige. Yeah. She's a high school student, and uh, the chapter began midway through the disaster already on day two, which was kind of interesting. Um... We were trying to get to the gymnasium to find help, and we eventually did, although we found that there was still more to do when we arrived there. Along the way, we learned about some of Paige's past with an unfortunate bully that was in her life, and we got threatened by a professor, no, teacher, whose name also escapes me. Oh, do some research, Nathan, come on. How's that for a recap? So we rejoin our tale in the high school gymnasium there, where a few of the students are... Resting or injured seemingly on the mats, we talk to the teacher here who says, Please be careful. Don't be afraid to come back if it doesn't feel right. Oh, yes. Uh, the principal there, I assume is the principal, or at least some sort of administrator, gave me a key to head outside and see how the rescue effort was going, if we could start to transfer the other students outside. I took a moment to check on these guys. We're, we're awaiting a helicopter, as you recall. This one's just panting. Doesn't look well. Oh, fair enough. Haha! -ha! Page. Ten points for Gryffindor. An anonymous girl lies there on the uh, on the floor. So we'll slosh back across the gym to the outer doors there. And see what we can see outside. Apologies once again for the sort of muddy uh, visual quality if you're having trouble with that on your screens. It is a bit of a dimly lit chapter, after all. So we use the gymnasium key here to head outside. And unfortunately, things aren't a whole lot better out here. Mostly covered in water, you can see some emergency vehicles that have been swamped off of the side there. Doesn't really look like the helicopter has anywhere to land. But there's a lady over here who uh, can maybe shed some light on the situation. Hello. Ooh, she's a little alarming. You're a lot like me. Uh, who are you? I think is pertinent. Who are you? <laughs> I can't tell you. You and I are very much alike. Here, take this. I doubt that very much, that we're alike. But she gave me a crimson ruby. Has no weight, doesn't take up inventory space. No idea what it's for. And then she goes back to staring at the recycle bin. If I prompt her again, she just repeats that we're very much alike in her sort of terrifying way. And that's all she's willing to tell me. I checked on the recycle bin to see if there was anything that I could recover from it, but again, I don't really understand how these systems work and there was nothing there for me. I feel like I stored stuff in the past. I could probably go back over old footage and see if I did or not. I'm never sure. I really, once again, don't think I've been using that system efficiently at all. So I've passed verdict on the outside here and after that strange encounter, it was time to head back in and tell the others of what I'd found. Doing so, another aftershock causes that uh, piece of walkway to fall down. Might be worth checking out in a moment. First of all, of course, we warm up and then head over to the walkway. Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah, so it seems the game isn't willing to let you go up there without talking to somebody first. So, back I went. Oh, 
no. It's much worse than I thought. It's all over now. Again, I'm not really sure, but I decided to let the let the grown-ups do the talking. The situation is bad, and I really need his help. You have to get out of this area as soon as possible. How about the flooding? What's happening to the city? Uh, let's go together. The helicopter will be arriving on the rooftop of Building 1. I can't go. I don't deserve it. I have to stay, but you all must get out of here. Kelly! Okay, let's go to the rooftop. I assume all the coughing is due to this being an old, older construction. Probably a lot of asbestos. Oh! Hey, help me! Nemesis seems to have bleached her hair in the intervening period of time. Come on, I'm not feeling well. I can't walk. Take me with you. So here we have a big decision to make. I can help Emily and go up together, ask her if she's sure, make her apologize. I can laugh and yell. I can stare, or I can just ditch her right there on the thing. Despite everything, I decided to be the the bigger person here, and uh, I, you know I couldn't let her die, and maybe that would help the the reconciliation process. The game actually asks you a second time if you really want to help her or if you want to think about it, but I stuck to my guns. And help her I shall. I'm going to heap burning coals upon her head. And so off we go together with you supporting Emily as you slosh through the gym one more time in sort of eerily perfect uh, synchronized stepping there. Kind of interesting. And now we can go up this makeshift ramp that's happened over here. Takes us to a hole that we can head outside. And get across to another wing of the school. Here's another survival point in case you feel like you should need one. So of course we stop to warm up, and now there are there will be intermittent flashes on the screen. That's actually meant to be lightning. It's not uh, anything wrong with the video. Sort of uh, regardless of where you are in the building, it just blinds you from for a moment. And out here in the hallway, we have an encounter. At at first, I mistakenly assumed that this was. Uh, Mr. Creeperson, the uh, the teacher there, and I can yell at him. He's the pervert. I can tell him he's handsome. Tell him a rescue helicopter will be here soon or say nothing. At the time I was playing, I thought this was the creepy teacher, and so I resolved to say nothing, hopefully not to uh, make the situation any worse. And in doing so, he just turns to talk to somebody else that comes running up. We lingered for a moment and then decided that maybe going the other way was the best course of action here. I'm not sure why I thought it was that guy. I mean, the eye patch is pretty clearly visible to me now, but anyway. This is a, that was a character that we've had some run-ins with in the past, if I'm not mistaken. So we head upstairs to the next level and are making our way to the roof. When things start to go uh, very unnerving indeed. Oh boy. Okay, uh, Emily, can we please just pick up the pace a little bit? A little bit. I don't know why we have to jog in synchronization. I don't. The stairs there. Sorry, bumped you into that ledge. Oh, no. Ah! 
looky here. We've got ourselves a good sun situation. Evidently, Emily strongly implied there. I mean, maybe I'm over reading into this too much, but it seems as though she was really egging me on to actually kill myself. And so, here's an opportunity to return a favor. I can help her, I can look down and laugh, I can yell, say there's nothing I can do to help, or I can leave her. Once again, I decided to help her because why would I drag her all this way and not? Please forgive me. Emily apologizes. And I can choose to forgive, help, say nothing, or think about it. I chose to help her. I don't think I'm ready to forgive yet, but I just think it's not right to let her die. And Paige goes way too far. I I didn't mean to like rule out forgiveness forever, Paige. You just have to go get all, make a big statement out of it or whatever. Anyway. Saved Emily. She didn't deserve it. And here we are at the helicopter. The administrators are already there, having left their students behind and not come back for them at all. It's good. Good job, adults. And into the helicopter we go. And this is actually the end of this chapter. It's really short. Just a little side story here at the school. Some loving shots. The helicopter flying off into the sunset? No, sadly. And so the recap. Because these changed based on the way you play the uh, chapters, I wonder if it's possible to know why, actually. Oh, I didn't. I did not know about the dirty toilet water. Then I might have just left her. That's terrible, actually. But after the flood hit our school, our relationship changed. When Emily asked me for help in the gym, Without hesitation, yeah. I helped her and went to the rooftop. I am pretty sure I hesitated there for a bit. When Emily almost fell from the stairs, she asked for my help again. I helped her up. I'll never forgive her, but I couldn't leave her there. Again, you know, never. I don't know. That's up to you. Whatever. And so that's Paige Meyer's story. I got ending pattern 4A. It was only 39 minutes, the shortest one yet. Hadn't died at all. Travel two miles. And this time, my jewelries are already obtained. Amazing. Instead of being unknown, that red jewel is now mine. The ruby. And then it goes to the ending saves and so on. At this point in the recording of the footage, I thought, well, this will be a terribly short episode, and so I decided to push right through to the beginning of the next chapter. Which is, question marks, a man who has amnesia? This is chapter six, Amnesia Man. We saw him in the school hallways. I think we helped him out in the first chapter when he was trapped under some rubble, so that should be interesting. If I'm not mistaken, we gave directions to a friend of his... During Isaac's story? No, it was during Amber's story. Uh -huh. It's 
Right now, we don't remember our name. We're 26 years old, though. We know that. Hey, you're awake. Wonderful. A man dressed in a blue suit helped you. I wish he would have told me his name before he left. I can start with the basic questions. Who are you? Who am I? Things we ask ourselves every day. Huh? Who are you? Come on, stop messing around. Wait here, I'll come back with some food. And suddenly, appendicitis. Hmm. You can choose to go tell someone or leave her alone. I suppose I should probably find help. I should go tell someone. So now it's her turn to have a rest on the table, and I take over as... Question Mark. Maybe we'll just call him Mark for short. We're in a uh, typical American coin laundry here. Survival point in the corner. And let's take a look at our, uh, our situation here. There's nothing under the items, of course. Very small inventory space. We can remember memory as our talent. Remember the memories. I can check. Try and remember my name. Uh, and this brings me to sort of a sub-screen where I suppose I will be assembling fragments of something. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. This could be intriguing for later on. I, I actually kind of really want to know what I'm going to be doing here. But the game doesn't seem like it's ready to tell me just yet. After that, there's the usual map and information stuff, and so... Not much else to know right now. Quick check-in at the survival point. Which, as we discovered, makes a sort of quick save. And just before we head outside, I remembered, oh, I saw some stuff off to the side. First of all, a backpack. Excellent. Good to find one of those so early on. This is an emergency pack, which... Uh, was empty the last time we found one, but makes for a lot of extra inventory space, as well as a garbage bag. While I have all the space in the world, I may as well take it along. I have still not figured out what these are for, but maybe I will. Who knows? Checked over my equipment real quick. I took another look at the garbage bag. This time I was more curious than usual about what should happen with that bag. The street doesn't look super familiar at first. There's a bit of flooding here. I mean, it may not be terribly far into the disaster if it's still raining. This appears to be the convenience store that we started off in in the beginning of Isaac's chapter. The old seek time. It's um, pretty much been cleaned out, but there are still a few things that are useful to us. Huh? Including that umbrella that we didn't take. I wonder if it's still there if you pick it up as Isaac. I had to leave it, as I recall, because my inventory was full. I mistakenly went into the equip menu and then remembered that it's a use item. <sighs> Elsewhere in the store, found a little bit of food. As well as more food. Huh? We have some adhesive tape. Huh? And, oh yeah, another heating pad. Been a while. In the back room, I found a... Huh? Cardboard box. Maybe I'll need to hide behind that. Escape from the police or something. We did have a stealth section before, so it's not impossible. And you can head out the back of the store. Huh? Find even more random things. And of course, I'm compelled to pick up all of it, because why not? There's a clothes, line, a clothes pole. Looks to be a recycle bin here, something on the ground, and there's a dude there. Huh? 
Oh, man. The thing on the ground is a travel pouch, which extends my inventory uh, a few units further. Very nice to have. And then I struck inspiration and thought, what about that assemble menu? Well, would you look at that? That's what the garbage bag and adhesive tape and all this stuff is for. You go to assemble and you can put together, for instance, a raincoat or oars or a cardboard wall or a soft top for a car for some reason. Yes, all of those random things that I collected all this time were actually things that you can put together. You can MacGyver it up and make stuff with them. Makes sense. Huh? There's also a broom. Maybe it's a Nimbus 2000. Didn't look quite like huh? it. Didn't have the contours, I think. On a Harry Potter thing today, I guess. Uh, no items to be taken from these cans again. Again, I'm, I guess I didn't store anything in there as page. Maybe it's only like from one to the next. I don't know. And where's that Jasper guy? You remember him? So I head back into the store and found another storeroom that huh? um, had a couple more things. One of them is an icy patch, whatever the heck that is. It looks like those things that um, um, Arano wears on Game Center CX, and indeed they are. It's a strip that absorbs heat. Useful for bringing down fever. Aha! I know somebody who's having a fever, I think. And some more adhesive tape. All kinds of stuff left in the store. Here in the bathroom, found some earmuffs. Of course, I'm equipping those right away. Looking good. Run into the door frame there. There's another garbage bag. Well, now I'm taking all of these. Now that I know what to do. And I thought, why not put it, put the system to use? Let's give it a try. I'm going to make makeshift coat assemble item. Yes, it takes one garbage bag and one adhesive tape. Now we'll head over to the equip area and try it on. As you can see, my white gown is already at 65%, but this one's at zero, so it's uh, totally good to go, and it's beautiful. It's perfect. Maybe it won't keep me as warm, but it should keep me dry. And it looks amazing. With that, uh, my tour of the store was concluded. I'm done looting everything I could find in there. So it was back to the survival point to do a quick warm-up. Try the icy patch on the uh, girl here. Unable to use item, unfortunate. Huh? She's unconscious. I must do something immediately. There has to be somebody around here, and I don't know who she is. And while I'm narrating this right now, I'm just realizing that maybe I should try the give function. Maybe it's a give. I'll have to do that the next time I boot the game up. So far, we're off to a mildly intriguing but not particularly exciting start. I do recognize that. So it was time to head around the neighborhood and see if there was anything else I could learn from my surroundings. Maybe there would be somebody who could help me. That guy out back of the convenience store seemed interested in just sitting on the ground and, you know, being sad. Not super helpful to me right now. Looks like sort of a makeshift shelter here in the corner of this building, so I thought I'd go check it out. Inside a couple more items, two frying pans. I believe I only need the one, so I'll just take one for now. Chuck that in the old backpack. As well as uh, something off to the side here. It appears that somebody left their myopia glasses lying on the ground, so of course I'm going to steal those. Hopefully they don't belong to this cat that was sitting in the middle of the ground here. Now I've got some sweet glasses. Look at that. Myopia corrected. Aha! Done. I can see everything. It's really cold. He wishes he had more cardboard boxes. Well, I have a cardboard box. Just take it. Take it in good health. I don't think I'll need it for sneaking. 
He's impressed, but wants something to tie them together. Well, um, how about this adhesive tape? It's not enough. Well, what do you want from me, man? Oh, wait a minute. Unless you want me to give you the broom. Or perhaps the clothes bowl? Not interested. Well, uh, I'm doing everything I can here. Ah, aha, inspiration strikes. We had to assemble, and we're going to put together a cardboard wall. You wondered why that would be useful, and here we are. Item successfully assembled. And then I turn back to this individual and hands it over. This time it works. Yes, that it. Let's assemble them. Well, it's already... I mean, I did the... But now you have a shelter. It's still cold, but he feels much better. Take this, and I get a chef's hat for my trouble. Side quest completed. 250 experience. Chef's hat. Well, I don't really know how that helps me, but... There we are. It's done. <clears throat> Having completed that side quest, I decided to poke around the outer edges of the neighborhood a little bit more. I did discover a new therapy ball compass, which I think looks like it says wolf on there or something. Anyway, that's cool. Try that on for size. Stick my face into the wall for a little bit. Eventually, I ended up back at the laundromat and to warm up. So at this point, I'm uh, at the... At the, by the end of this recording, I'm not 100% sure what to do next. I'm sure I've just overlooked something in the area or have to try giving those icy patches to the girl. But I have yet to get back there and give that a try. Hopefully next time we can make some progress, find out a little bit more about who we are and what we're doing here. And also discover this in the game. Haha. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for watching. Of course, uh, I appreciate all your comments and feedback. And we'll see you next mission.